Adventure is fuel for life. From its highs, Little rock and roll, baby. To its lows. And there's a place that captures that spirit. A community of creatives mastering the art of the unexpected. In the biggest little city in the world, Reno Tahoe. The Reno adventure begins with a journey back in time to 1859, Virginia City, a frontier town deep in the Nevada hills. This was the land of silver and gold, where pioneers from far and wide flocked to find their fortune. Seems like Virginia City was actually the hot happening spot. Oh, absolutely it was the hot happening spot because this is where the money is coming from. And resident historian Joe Curtis is willing to go above and beyond for his beloved town. All right, Joe, they gave me an extra dress for you to put on for the next part of the interview. Are you going to do that for us? Absolutely, as long as they're paying enough. <laughs> <laughs> We have to talk about Virginia City and how it really did lead to Reno being what it is today. Well, you got to remember that when Virginia City is formed, it's pretty much a standalone community. So as the Transcontinental Railroad comes through across and comes through Reno, wood, clothing, hardware, alcohol, that alone makes a big important factor to Reno. So Virginia City and Reno have this symbiotic connection, if you will. And as the cities grew, more travelers arrived, including one not in search of fortune, but a name. So my understanding is Samuel Clements became Mark Twain here. Correct. And it had to do with him working for the newspaper, and he begins developing that name for one reason or another. And there's a number of different stories as to just exactly how that came about. He would always buy two drinks at a time and put it on a bar tab and he would say, mark me down for Twain. And using that term, Mark Twain, signs his newspaper articles, Mark Twain. He begins writing his book, Roughing It, as Mark Twain. And as he leaves here, everything after that is Mark Twain. We turn the page to the early 1900s, when most of the country's strict divorce laws brought a new wave of people in search of what's called the Reno Cure. As we move forward and Reno becomes more cosmopolitan, it becomes this divorce capital. Oh, let's talk about that. Yeah, so why is this area known as the divorce capital? Because of our state law saying you can stay in the state for six weeks, and then it gives you citizenship in the state of Nevada. Where there was a law that women could get divorced. Get, you can get a divorce. And they'd start developing what are known as dude ranches for the divorcees to stay while they're getting the divorce process. And this is primarily women, right? Yes. You know, you would go to the bridge in Reno and they throw their rings off into the Truckee River. And then kids would go in there and dig in there and I was gonna the say, rings I would go to the Oh them. yeah. Fast forward to today, and that spirit of empowerment presses on with a new boss in town. Tabitha? There she is. <laughs> I feel <laughs> underdressed. How's it hanging? <laughs> I just came from a meeting. Welcome to Reno. Mayor Hillary Sheevey, champion for the Great Reno Revival and one of Politico's 11 most interesting mayors, has her eye on the future. Now, I only had one hour with the city's highest ranking official, so I got right down to the hard-hitting questions. So when I think of Reno, I think new boots. Yes! Three payments. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say yes. next. Yes. Reno 911, yes. a staple. Yes. Genuine ostrich, three payments. Oh, you know it's so funny, it's a cult classic now. It is. When I meet people, you know, all across the country, they're like, Reno 911, I love that show. So it's really funny when you embrace sometimes you what to. people might think is a negative, it's actually a big positive. So you spent your whole life here, and you've stayed here. Why did you stay? Reno is a community that is so very special. I love that we work hard and we play hard. 
I can go hiking or biking or skiing or down the Truckee River. This is 80% of our drinking water right here in Reno. Hello! Hi guys! Had I known you guys were going to be here, we would have brought bread. It would have been fun. <laughs> I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I am an independent, and so I'm really about people, not party. And it was just a way that I could give back in some special way. And how has the revitalization been? It has really transformed a lot. We were predominantly gaming my whole life growing up here. When I got into office, I wanted to diversify our community. I think it's really important, whether it comes to arts, culture, food, innovation, technology. I wanted to embrace all of that. And we started building relationships with Burning Man, the university. People started to take notice, and then companies started building and investing here. I think I've just been blessed to grow up in a community where we're incredibly close, but we also are resilient. We are the biggest little city, I will tell you that in every possible way.